<laughs> hey, fishing friend, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell icon, because uh, I upload videos all the time. All right, today I am going to do a review specifically of just the ugly water, big, uh, the ugly water, the ugly stick, big water, seven foot, medium heavy rod that I use for saltwater fishing from shore. Now I'm in Southwest Florida, and I'm uh, in this video, I'm gonna put links. Just click on that little eye thing, they'll drop down. I've caught some really big fish using this rod, you guys. Now, I got this rod to do bridge fishing. I wanted something that would be stout and heavy enough to throw a two ounce jig and uh, be able to handle a 45 inch freaking snook, okay? And uh, I've caught a, my personal best snook I caught on this rod. I caught a gigantic Goliath grouper close to 100 pounds. I think it was like four to five feet long, 15 minute battle. I caught him on this rod from shore. I caught a giant stingray about four feet wingspan one night. Just muscled that dude with this freaking rod, man. Caught a big gag grouper one night. Um, so you know what? That's what makes this video unique, okay? I'm not just like unboxing this thing and showing all the, all the sleek and wonderful features. Um, no, proven, tried, and tested with experience, and I'm not paid, I'm not sponsored by Ugly Stick, I'm just a guy who's enjoying the heck out of this rod, and people all the time are asking me about what rod you're using and what pound test and all this, so uh, I've got this thing paired up with a Pen Pursuit 6000. You can see it's a it's a good match with the, uh, the size of the handle and uh, the, the size of the butt of the rod. Now, one of the things that I love about this rod is how uniform it bends okay and i don't know if you'll be able to be able to see this but in the goliath grouper video when when i've got the scream and drag going on you can see how uniform the bend is on this rod but let, let me give this thing a, a bend here for you i'm holding it down about i don't know eight eight ten inches from the the reel handle and you can see oh yeah that that takes some work right there but you can see how uniform that bend is in this rod I love it, man. So this thing will lock down on fish. I go into the marina and I fish in boat slips. I catch Jack Cravals three, three and a half feet long. I mean, big Jack Cravals. They hit live pinfish, wow! Like doing 30 miles an hour. And when they hit them, I gotta have something with stopping power, just like, boom, lock down on them and uh, be able to horse them out of the pilings and away from the boats. And uh, yeah, this rod right here, does the trick. Now with big snook, I have to have something that I can lock down, get those snook out of the rocks, keep them away from the pilings. This rod will do the job. Now if you're looking for a rod that you're going to be able to cast long distance with ease, um, I have this this 50 pound braid on here. I can throw a two ounce jig 100 yards whenever my spool is full on the 6,000 reel, but it takes a lot of effort, okay? It's not like an effortless cast. I really have to rear back and sling that thing with just about everything that I have in me to get that thing to go 100, 120 yards. Okay, so if you're looking for a fishing rod that you're gonna be able to just cast with ease, you're gonna to have to get something that has a little bit more flexible tip than this, okay? I specifically got this rod for bridge fishing and fishing around heavy structure. All right, so this thing will throw a three quarter ounce to a four ounce lure. That's what it's rated for. It's rated for 20 to 40 pound test. Now I've got 50 pound braid on here, which is no problem. So I'm guessing the rating on this thing, 20 to 40 pound test is probably a uh, monofilament rating. Um, okay, so what else do I need to say about this thing? It's lightweight. Um, yeah, man, I just like when I pick it up, I feel like, man, I am ready to like, hook into a big old freaking fish. It just it just feels good. The finish on this thing is like freaking driving a Porsche, man. Just absolutely beautiful. I've had this rod for about eight months and uh, bridge fished with it and all kinds of fishing. And uh, yeah, it's not scratched up at all. So they apparently, they put a really, really good coating on this rod. For $59.95, you guys, here in 2018, this is a deal. Now, Check out those videos that I've linked here, that drop down. Check out those videos. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Click the bell icon because I get upload videos all the time so you'll know when those videos are uploaded. Get out there and go fishing, man. There's lots of fish waiting for you. Life is fun. You got to live it. See ya. Oh, thumbs up too. <laughs>